I'm just going to go through the treasure report. Uh, now I've, I've been in this job for just a little more than a month now. Um, so uh, not a long track record, but I'm going to do the best I can. I just want you to know that, you know, the finances is something I'm going to take very seriously. I do have a background on some resource development and past uh, nonprofits that I worked in. Since I've been out of, of war in Iraq in 2005, I've been working in uh, the nonprofit world with Bobby Moeller, VVAF. I don't know if you know that organization. Started an organization called Veterans Green Jobs. For the last seven years, I've been with uh, Vet Voice Foundation. Um, and I've raised you know, a lot of money for some of these organizations, and hopefully we can do that. And I'm, I'm becoming better at, uh, you know, I've managed small budgets before, obviously, but uh, this, is, this is a whole different ball game. And uh, I just, I take it seriously. I'm gonna look at ways that we can be efficient. And uh, if, you know, I wanna be transparent as much as I can. So if anybody has any questions, just please let me know. I'm gonna make sure that a lot of these financial reports are online so, so they're available to you as well. So, um, without further ado. And you already got a grant. It's yeah. No, I got it. I got it. No, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I did, I did get a $15,000 grant already um, in the first month. So, um, yeah. I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that, uh, that campaign, too, uh, in the director's report, which immediately follows the treasury report. All right. This is uh, the people who helped uh, put this PowerPoint together and the people behind uh, a lot of our fin financial statements and tracking our finances. Here's just an overview of, of our revenue, um, specifically our membership dues. Uh, we're actually doing very well. Um, despite losing certain staff members that uh, assisted in this area, um, uh, my staff uh, figured out ways to, to help uh, continue this process and uh, we're, actually, we're actually doing quite well uh, despite those losses. So it's encouraging. Um, if this reflects uh, how our membership uh, is doing, um, there, there is a good trend here. Uh, so we're making a, a decent amount of funding uh, from membership dues. And this crosses everything from the renewals of old members, new members, uh, associate members. Um, I would like to increase that post 9-11 um, category and I think as executive director um, being representative of that that demographic I, I'm hoping that 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 does help um, and we'll make pitches for the the lifetime memberships and all that uh, during the banquet I believe so if you've got uh, if you got any connections out there to folks that uh, might want to join the veterans for peace please reach out to them and uh, get them on board um, our, our donations in general you know you see our membership donation that is, a, that is a category that does not include dues. That means our members are donating a significant amount of money um, outside the regular dues, dues being paid, which is a, is a he healthy sign for an organization. That commitment is really amazing. Um, but you see that non-member category is in the red. So what we predicted in this budget um, at the start of the year, uh, we're, not, we're not achieving. And that, that means that number is growing every single month. Um, but I think we, we've got a strategy, we can turn that around that I'll talk about in, in a little while. And that grants and foundations, um, we were getting a large grant um, that, that we stopped getting uh, this year. And uh, we have some, some, some idea why, um, and it might not have anything to do with us, but uh, you could already knock out 15,000 from the grant I got out of that um, that's not, not listed here. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to get that back in order and uh, see if we can get some grants. I'm looking at a few good, uh, good opportunities that I think we can be competitive with. Um, bequests, uh, I'm hoping that that number increases as well. Um, I think it will. If you look at the amount of money that members just donate outside their membership dues, um, that means we have some amazing committed members that might wanna leave some, some money to us uh, after they have passed. So total revenue, we are in the red right now. Um, and uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know if I could pull us out of it by the end of the year. But we do have a healthy savings account that um, can take some blows like this. Uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't foresee this happen, having a long trend. Here's just a, a graphic on where we get our money from, and how that's associated. And uh, a lot of a lot of the great things about this is these are unrestricted dollars, which means uh, I could use it 
you know, for the fundamentals of keeping the lights on and, and paying my staff um, and also uh, doing great work uh, around the country. Sometimes grants is, a, is it's a good big chunk of money, but it's, uh, it's hard to use flexible like that. So um, it's nice that we have such a robust, uh, this is a, a easy to read slide. <laughs> This, this, this gives you an example of, of the level of tracking that we do. Um, we're using uh, Peachtree right now for our accounting software, and I'd like to move to QuickBooks uh, for next year, and I might be able to break out things easier uh, with QuickBooks. I'm a little more, I think I'm a little more familiar with it than Peachtree, so uh, we'll see what that costs and how much the switch would be. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of things that go into that, and I'll try to make this available to you. Obviously, you can't see it, so. Um, if you're really interested in digging down in the, the nitty gritty details of all the, all the nuts and bolts. So our total expenses versus revenue. Um, yeah, we're not, we're not, you know, it's, it's not where we'd like it to be, but we'll try to get that changed. There's the, uh, all the expenses, obviously our personnel costs, um, you know, our salaries is a big chunk of that. Um, and it's gonna continue regardless of, of how we change things. I feel like the more, the more staff we have, the more capacity we have to do good things. I don't have a resource development director um, just working on raising funds. Um, and that would be a huge help, especially in grant writing, grant development and tracking. Um, and I'd like a program coordinator that's really involved in making sure that our, our mission is being pushed forward. Um, but, you know, so more money, more problems. Um, and you could see everything else there. General administration um, is a big chunk of that. The convention, 11% of our, our of our funds. So uh, it's a uh, yeah. I mean, I'm I'm right now. I'm trying to save costs wherever I can. I do sleep on a cot in the office when I spend half my time in in St. Louis, and it's going to remain that way until we can get out of the red. So living off our savings, um, you could see that year after year what it what it's been look looking like. And uh, we've, we've got ups and downs, but um, you know, we, we can take some hits uh, and keep going, but hopefully we're putting more money in that savings account soon rather than taking it out. Um, so uh, donation dues are trending ahead. Grants and foundations are severely behind um, is a rough analysis. Uh, the things we're trying to change about that um, I'm trying to get a, a better development committee formed together um, that's not just of board members, uh, but also members, advisory board members and staff members. Um, so hopefully we could have a team that's, that's helping me write grants, look for foundations that could possibly give, um, and making sure that the grants that we do submit are, are seen by a handful of people and they're the best competitive grants that we could, we could put in. Um, looking for big, big, big donors and maintaining those relationships, uh, growing a healthy advisory board uh, that's active in giving, I think are all, all real good things. This, this organization is, is super interesting in the fact that the board of directors is voted by the membership and it's member driven. And I think that's an amazing quality, but we don't always have board members with deep pockets. Uh, you know, we don't always have board members with, with uh, connections to celebrities and athletes and you know, millionaires. Um, but it, but it, that gives some credibility to our organization, um, and it means that we're, we have leaders that are among our, our population. So I'm hoping that the advisory board can kind of replace some of those uh, traditional things that uh, board of directors might do on other organizations. Um, so there's a lot of opportunities for revenue growth, and um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep working on it, and I think we can, uh, we can do a good job.